Hey Bumblebees! Today I have a Korean sticker haul for you and a little journal with me. So let's get started! I ordered all these items on the Shopee store galicc.ph. On top of the box were the four washi tapes I ordered. I got two rolls of just simple flower doodles, one forest roll with trees, bears, and lions on it, and the last roll on the bottom being a colorful gummy bear theme. Now we're going to open this bag of stickers. This sheet of stickers is a gift from the shop. This first set of stickers I bought are these peach stickers and these cherry stickers. All the stickers are really good quality and made of this shiny vinyl material. This sheet seems to be an assortment of different bear stickers, and I really, really like the stack of thick pancakes on the top left. These bears are so cute, the little gardeners. We have little flowers, bears in overalls, a wagon, watering cans, and even some of their produce. These next two sheets are a little shopping set. So we have a rack of clothes, bears looking at clothes, trying on clothes in the mirror, and some receipts. This is a little study set and instead of bears, we have some kitties. We have a kitty graduating and some kitties doing some studying. To go along with that study theme, I got this set of bears in little school uniforms. This one actually got damaged by the packaging. But other than that one sticker, the rest of them are fine. Next, we have some purple dessert stickers, and I really like the two gummy bears on the bottom of this sheet. These four sheets of stickers are just bears and coats, and the ones on the left are in the little checkered pattern, and the one on the right are just in plain colored coats. The bears in yellow actually remind me of Paddington Bear. This also seems to be an assortment of different kinds of bears, but the little bear in the pumpkin is my favorite. The last set of stickers I ordered are actually my favorite. They're just little fruit bears and the pineapple bear is so cute with his little glasses. Now that I've unboxed all the stickers, we're gonna get into the journal with me. The journal I'm using is the Moleskin Daily Planner. My favorite pastel pens to use are these Zebra Sarsa pens and they are just really pigmented and the ink is really thick so it really pops out on the page. I know my hand is blocking most of what I'm writing right now but I'm just writing Korean sticker haul in a really really simple font that I used to do when I was a kid. I'm not the best at lettering so I just like doing this really simple font to add a little spice to the titles on my pages. This roll of washi I actually got in the last stationery haul that I did on my channel. What I like to do with this roll is actually cut out each individual flower separately and because the background is white, it kind of just blends into the page and you don't see that it's taped. So then it ends up looking like a sticker. This washi tape I'm about to use, I actually got at my last stationery haul, so you can go check that out on my channel. This isn't a regular washi tape, you actually have to cut it and then peel it off a strip. But other than that, you would just use it like you would use washi tape. I 
I decided to use that sticker that was kind of peeling off already and it actually was super sticky. It stuck to the paper as soon as I put it down. So you have to be super decisive with using these stickers because you can't transfer them once you've stuck them down. Now I'm gonna use the two new washi I got. I am actually just gonna cut out a strip and because I noticed that the background of this tape was white just like the flowers that I used earlier, I thought I could cut out each little element in the tape and use them as little stickers and you'll see me do that later on. This clear decorative tape I actually got in my last haul as well. What's nice about this tape is you can cut out each picture and use it as its own individual sticker. And that's what I decided to do with the two big stickers at the end of this. When trying to fill out empty pages, I normally scatter big elements to different corners or sides of the page and then from there I embellish those big areas with little stickers and drawings and you'll see me do that now. These were the washi strips that I cut earlier and like I said I cut each drawing out and I'm kind of putting it in the page like a little scene of the bear in the forest. When I feel the groupings that I create look a little bland, I take um, a colorful pen and I do these little swirls or I draw dots and stars and diamonds around just so the colors kind of all come together and just look a little fuller and less undone. So you'll see me add these little circles, swirls, and dots throughout the page just so that everything comes together and it looks like one whole design. So this is the final page I came up with. I of course filled it up later on with my own thoughts and what I did in the day. But yeah, um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know what else you'd like to see from my channel. See you honeybees in the next video.